The next question in this Java series is Java if else. Here in this question, they have introduced us to if else concept. Uh, we'll take a look at sample input. So here, uh, there is a positive integer which is three, and they have printed weird here in this case. Okay, so here they have told us or uh, they have given us an ex explanation. If n is odd, then we have to print weird. If n is even. And in the inclusive range of 2 and 5, then we have to print not weird. And if n is even, and in the inclusive range of 6 and 20, we have to print weird. And if the n is even, and it is greater than 20, we have to print not weird. So let's move to the code. So here they have already written a code for us. And here, uh, on this line, we'll start with if else. So first, we have to write if. And inside this, we'll check whether the number is odd or not so for that what we have to do we have to check its remainder and for that we have to use this modular sign and we will write two if the remainder is not equal to zero it means that the number will be odd okay so if the number is odd then what we have to do we have to print weird so we will write system System dot out dot print ln and we have to print weird. Okay, so that's it. And below that, we'll write else if, else if, and here the the condition will be if this number n is greater than equal to two or smaller than equal to five, which is this condition, the second one. So for that, we'll write two must be smaller than equal to n and n must be smaller than equal to 5 ok so here in this case we have to print that it is not weird so I'll just copy it we'll paste it over here and we'll write not weird and after this we are going to check the condition for 6 and 20 that is n should be greater than equal to 6 and it should be smaller than equal to 20 and here we have to print weird and the last condition will be that if it is greater than 20 so here we are just going to write else and inside this we are going to print not weird so for that I'll just copy it and we'll paste it down over there yeah that's it so we'll run the code and we'll check the output it shows an error so here I have not included the less than sign so we'll check it again yes it is working and now we'll check it for rest of the test cases yes it is working for rest of the test cases also the solution for all other questions including this series will be available on my channel and also thank you guys for watching this video